This Saturday night, you will have the rare opportunity to take a trip back in time to the birth of rock and roll with someone who was there to witness it and survive to tell about it. <laughs> Myra Lewis Williams was married to legendary Jerry Lee Lewis, and she has written a book entitled The Spark That Survived. And she joins us this morning along with Dr. Michael Hanna to preview this exciting event at Lee's McCray. Thank you for being here today. Oh, thank you for thank having you. me. I, mm -hmm. I tell you, it's such a great, amazing story, and you, you finally got the book written that you wanted to write. I you? did, yes, yes. Tell us about, to give us a little synopsis of what the book's about. It's a, it's a story of survival and overcoming things, and yet it's not a book of bad. Right. You know, it's not like, oh, this life was so terrible. Life was wonderful. I mean, the bad things happened during good times, but it was still a, a great life. And all of them are little short stories that you can read chapter 10 and then chapter 2 and you're, you're not lost. You can just jump around if you want You can to. jump around anywhere in the book. And it's just things that, one of the stories that I'll, I'll tell people sometimes is um, after the divorce, I was very traumatized. Right. I mean, it took me years right. and years. And I, I, I was, um, someone told me, go to a group therapy. So I said, okay, I'll go, I'll go. And I went to group therapy, and we sat around the room, and everybody talked, and it came my turn, and I talked. And then we, the, 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 it was over. Everyone started to leave, and the doctor looked at me, and he said, would you mind staying right. when everybody leaves? And I thought, okay, I yes. have finally found someone who's going to say, Myra, we feel so sorry for you. We're going to have you put away to get, <laughs> get you help. And I, I, so I sat there and I thought, I, I gotta prepare myself for this. Mm -hmm. It's gonna hurt, but I'm prepared for it. Right. So he's, everybody left and he looked at me and he said, Myra, I'm so impressed with the way you've handled your life and everything right. that's happened to you. He said, would you consider taking on a, a group of your own? <laughs> and I said, what did you say? He said, could you take on a group and lead the group? And I said, no, 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 I can't, I can't. You have just given me what I've been looking for all right. the time. And that was validation right. that I survived. Yes. I'm okay, it's all right, you know. I never went back, never thought about it again. It was like, this is, this is totally over. It's like getting through a tunnel it coming was, out the other side. It was, it oh. was, and it's happened so strangely, you know, with him asking me to say, I thought, get ready, Myra, this is gonna be it. You're fixing to be told. <laughs> And she's going to be over at Lee's McRae mm -hmm. signing this fabulous book, and it's part of the Million Dollar Quartet program mm -hmm. that's going on there. Tell us about that program as well. This this show is a it's not an actual recreation right. of the night in 1956, but it's inspired by it. Right. And it has all of these these four icons of American music, and we get to see them as young men. Mm -hmm. These are not the older sort of cliches that we right. we know later: Elvis and Vegas and sequin jumpsuits. Yeah. These are all young men who are only a couple of years into their careers, right. and they're they're unsure of themselves. They know they've got talent. Sam Phillips knows they've got talent, and he's trying to help them figure out now what do I do with it. So this is a fun thing to, to be able to portray these characters as young men and as real people. There, that's the the thing Myra can tell you so much yes. about is you yeah. know knowing these these guys as yeah. just guys that that she knew and uh, that, that had such wonderful potential and still are trying to figure out what to do with it. Right. When you talk to folks about Jerry Lee Lewis, what is the one thing you try to get across to them from your perspective? <sighs> Jerry's very talented. Yes. Um, I loved him very much. Yes. And I would still fight a circus off of him right now. I mean that you know, yeah. because that's the father of my children. Right. And I don't think that people should punish their children because they've gotten a divorce or something mm -hmm. like that. But Jerry was just as real as as real can get. He was very very talented, mm -hmm. and we were very happy for 13 years. And it was it was a happenstance that just took place. At one time and place, you know, it was just like being there when the sh uh, rocket ship landed or something. It was, it was an exciting time, and 
I, just being around and right. knowing all these people was just right. amazing because I was watching history and I just didn't realize it. You just didn't realize it mm -mm. at the time. Mm -mm. I no. mean, there was Elvis, Carl oh, Perkins, yeah. Johnny Cash. I mean, just. Oh, it just kept going. It just going, kept going and, and going. And bigger and bigger. <laughs> yes. as, as a young lady, how impressed were you with all that talent that was surrounding you? I just, just awed by it all. And it was, it was so strange because it all came together at one time. I mean, where had these people been? And then there were others that were coming out of the woodwork warning in. And it was like there was a special blessing given yes. to this group. And they sort of stuck together. They had a lot in common. Right. And it was, it was a, just an incredible time. Well, we want folks to, to get a small taste of that incredible <laughs> time. And we have tickets to give away. Be caller number 7 or caller number 11 at that number right there at the bottom of the screen. And you'll get two tickets. We're going to give away two tickets for each caller to go see this amazing show over at Lee's McCray. Dr. Hannah, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Meyer. I appreciate you. you being thank you here. So Such, much. I could sit and <laughs> talk to you all day. I really could. We got the information. Right there is the number you need to call. We got the information on the Million Dollar Quartet coming to the Hayes Auditorium there at Lee's McCray campus. This young lady will be signing books. It is the Million Dollar Quartet, and it's happening now through July 16th. Look at this.